Hey y'all, Michael here. Hey, I, you know, I had a plan. You know, I still ain't uh, been to sleep because I've been brainstorming a bunch of things. I, I, You know, I got so many things going on. And uh, the sun's about to go down, but I had an idea to come over here to this school. And uh, a couple of my friends, you know, was asking me. They, they, they've they never really flown a racing drone or anything. I mean, and it's kind of new to them, you know. I remember when I first saw them, I was fascinated by them, you know, but now it's just a normal everyday thing to me. It's like, it's like, uh, like it's no big deal, but I guess to somebody that's never seen one, it could be kind of fascinating. I, you know, I remember I was, anyway, enough of talk. I was going to uh, come here because they were seeing, want me to go as fast as it could go, you know, and uh, I could probably get it maybe up to almost a full throttle. I'd run out of room by those buses down there and uh a lot of times it's easy i could lose it or crash it or something but you know i could i could fix it you know um but i'm gonna try i have no idea what's gonna happen but um uh, you know they crash all the time that's part of that's part of the that's part of the game you know They're, you're supposed to crash if you don't it wouldn't something would be wrong but anyway i'm gonna see First of all, I gotta set this phone. I, I always forget to have a plan, to have a way to set the phone. Okay, let me see where y'all are at. Is it pointing? I can't see the screen because I got something leaning on it. Let's. I want you to see the sidewalk and the sky. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. All right. We're going to just see how fast this thing can go at full throttle, if I can get to full throttle. That's still not a lot of room. So I ain't got to worry about busting a window or nothing. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Let me turn this on. See, one of these is, uh, it's got safety on it and it won't arm the thing and turn on unless that's all the way down, you know? I'll, I'll explain that later. But, uh, <clears throat> here we go. Start out slow first. Let me see how close I can get right here. That was about 60% throttle right there. And another thing, since I'm flying field of view, that means I don't I don't have goggles or a camera. And looking through that, I could lose orientation of it because I can't tell which way it's facing. And then, and then I'll get real disoriented, and that thing will go haywire, and I, I won't be able to get it under control. And when, when that happens, usually I'll just let it fall and hit the ground, but. Sometimes it happens so quick that I don't have time to think. It's, it's weird. It took me about two months to learn how to fly this thing. But, you know. Okay, here we go. Whoa. That was about 80%. That was about 80. I think I'm freaking out the birds. That wasn't full throttle.
That was about 80% right there. something around in the air all day well i mean i don't know it's just it's a it's like first of all it was very difficult to do at first i mean i just wanted i don't know i just wanted to do it because it was hard to fly and uh, i didn't know a thing about it, it was just, and it seemed fast and or stuff I, mean, I don't know but but it's just fun i mean it makes you nervous kind of it's like you get your adrenaline pumping when you fly it it's hard to explain. It's like you're it's nervous. It's more nerve-wracking than riding that scooter. Woo, that thing screams. It just makes you kind of like nervous when you're flying it, like shaking. And it's even wilder if you got the goggles and the camera. I'm going to try to put my camera on tonight. I think it's great.
Man, ain't it like a pretty evening? Look at that sunset. Ain't that pretty? Ain't it a beautiful world? What do you think of the world? I mean, if you look at the planet, you ever wondered about the whole planet, the stars, the solar system, the whole shebang? You know, it's a big universe. It's probably bigger than that. But anyway, I'm going to stop being weird. That was pretty good flying. I just wish the, uh... I had a little bit more battery power. I could have flown in the sunset. We could have all flew away to the sunset. Couldn't have we? You know. You know. I don't know what the. So I, today I've been just emotional all day. You know, because you know. All, all my feelings and emotions and everything's coming back after being gone for a year. Taking that medicine, you know, no more. I'd rather have my feelings and my emotions and be able to feel the world and the and the 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 the, 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 the wonder of it. You know, you can just stand here and feel if you just you can feel the earth. You know, almost like you're surfing, uh, you know, across the solar system on planet Earth, you know. Because you can see the sun moving, you know, it's wild. It's eight light minutes away. It, it, it takes light eight minutes to get from here to there to the sun. It takes about two and a half seconds to get to the moon. It takes a couple hours to get to Jupiter. Takes about nine hours to get to Pluto. It's pretty fast. Speed of light. But my little racing drone over there thinks a little faster. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's keep keep the camera over here. Ain't that beautiful? Woo! That was a good flying. Almost lost control of it a couple times, but 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 uh, it was close. Get that camera on there. Get the into the races. You can win fifty thousand dollars, and that's just a low prize. You can get in there and win grand prizes of a million dollars. You know, get into the the multi GP sport. You know, and uh, you gotta be real good though you, you gotta be real good you you gotta be like real good it's, you know beyond my comprehension good you know you go up and down and up and down and around and flip and down and over look at that it's going down y'all and we all got to spend it together the sunset we all got to see it together man this video has been 15 minutes man, why am i so excited i guess that i get real happy like this after I, I fly and I don't really have any wrecks or nothing. And it's successful. Got to make a video for all y'all. I just hope y'all watch it to the end. Most people click videos away at the first 30 seconds. Did you know that? Most people, 9 out of 10. So, lucky that. Yeah, it ain't gonna be long. I got some plans. I, I got the, I got this. I got a, I got a website idea. It's a secret, and I got um, some business contacts. That's a secret too. Y'all can't tell nobody. And um, <clears throat> but it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a little while. Look at that beam of light. Now I tell you what. Look at that. Let's go stand in it. Come on. That's one beautiful, beautiful sunset there, you know? And I'm just glad I have my feelings and emotions back to, 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 to comprehend it, to feel it. To, it's like majestic. Words cannot describe. Wishing buses would move out of the way. <laughs> no, okay. Look at there. That's, a, that's the closest star to planet Earth. The next closest is four light years away. Going at uh, 186,000 miles a second or 612 million miles an hour. It would take you four years to get there. Did you know going that fast, if you could, 
time would slow down for you and everybody here would be time would be flying by you'd be gone an hour come back and it, they they'd be you know it'd be like 50 years past that's true too it's true it's called relativity but <clears throat> anyway we'll quit sounding all crazy i don't know flying these racing drones like this it, it, and you know it just had when you done flying makes you feel like real good like after you know like baseball players football players and all that feel when they w win a game you know, you know what i mean man it's going down i, I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty night too it's kind of cloudy but not really but uh yeah see There she goes. That was a pretty good flight. You know, I didn't even think to come over here just till the last minute, I, you know. And I sure as heck wasn't expecting this. I just wish I had some somebody, you know, like a like a friend that's just like me, you know, that would be just like me saying the same thing and we'd both be jumping up and down over this. I mean, <laughs> Things like this just amaze me. It takes all my bitterness and anger away just for a while, you know. And everything, all the bad things, all the worries and the, the hurt and the pain and all that goes away just for a little while. You know, because moments like this is very rare. I mean, rare for me anyway. And uh, a lot of people, I don't even know if they can uh, feel, I mean, d d I don't know, I, I, I just don't, I don't know why I'm even thinking that, but that's uh, absolutely beautiful, it, don't that look like a big sun, like the big, the, the halo, oh, wow, I want to see this to the, to the very end, <sighs> And see, rate, flying drones and stuff have, have side effects like sunsets, you know? They go with it. Man. And just think, if I had a camera on that drone, and, you know, that would be awesome. It's called FPV, uh, first person view. And you can, you, while you're flying it, you could uh, record the video of what the drone sees, everything. And, it's, and if you're a good flyer, you can make some really good 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 like aerial videos and they use them in movies and all kind of stuff it's it's good and and i think uh people that fly drones and stuff they're they're getting more creative with it as time goes on because this is a brand new sport drones and things like that even even been in the world but a few years 10 years i think at the most and uh the more the more they do it the more they i've noticed even the flight controllers are getting even more sophisticated and uh you know by the day week and uh and my drone there that's that thing's a year old it's out of date i, I still uh I, but he's got speed i'm telling you yeah I'd rival a lot of these people, these professional racers. I'll tell you, that, for some reason, that, that drone's fast. It's very fast. It's like way up there fast. You know? But, uh, I mean, I ain't bragging. It's just when I first got on Amazon looking for parts, you know, I didn't buy it already built. I just bought the parts and put it all together. And I bought all the fastest, biggest, best things I could get for a racing drone. And they, racing drones can't be too big or, or too small, really. You get them to just the right size, that's how you, that's what you want. Just the right size. And that's what gives them their uh, speed and their agility. And there's so different, many different modes you can put on there to where the flight controller and the gyro and stuff, and the accelerometer will help you stay balanced and stuff. Or... You can just, uh, the drone will go exactly as you move your hands, you know. If you let go of the controls, it's going to keep going where you had it going. But there's different modes to where you can set it to where if you let go of the controls, it'll just level itself 
off, you know, back level. It's called stable mode, and then you have acro mode, which is acrobat mode. You can do, you can do all kind of weird things with, in that mode. And there's different modes. You got, all, you know, but uh, I'm hardly a, a teacher, and I don't know very much about them, really. I just know enough to, to put them together, a couple modes here and there, and apply them like I did tonight. That's about it. All that technical stuff with all those different types of PID tunings and all these things for the uh, sensors and the, all that. And yeah, I don't know anything about it, but I, I ain't look, I ain't read into it yet, but I'm probably going to real soon if I can get through this. You know, but, you know, some in some ways, my life is just exactly the way I want it. Exactly perfect. The bad, the good, the troubles, the, all that is happening just the way it's supposed to. Because if they don't happen the way they are supposed to, then you can't really be happy at moments like this. Do you see what I'm saying? And I've thought about that concept a lot. And, uh... I don't know. And I think uh, the past, the present, and the future is all one entity anyway, you know? You know, it's, in quantum physics, well, I'm not going to go into that in philosophy or nothing, but, but uh, I don't know. It's time I isn't real, really. I mean, because I'm here making this video at the present moment, and then hopefully if you are going to be watching this video at the present moment that I'm here. See how it's all connected, all in one, you know. You know, but that don't matter. Sunsets like this and beautiful nights like this outshine all the bad. All the bad. All the bad. For just the briefest moment. And I could just be myself just for the briefest moment. And, and look to the sky. Look how far it goes. Look way past the sun. And then way past the, the solar system. And then way on past. And then it would take you uh, about 100,000 years to get to the edge of the Milky Way galaxy. And then if you're still cruising at the speed of light, and you, the, the next nearest galaxy is Andromeda. And it's 1.2 million light years away. And that's a short distance <laughs> compared to the the next five galaxies. Yeah, just the next five. But we're in a cluster of 2,000 galaxies, the Milky Way being one of the smallest. Andromeda Galaxy, right next to us, 1.9 million light years away, is twice the size of the Milky Way. It's got like close to 500 billion stars in it. And, and, and that's the, you know, but if you keep going, if you want to, if you keep going, if you want to, you keep on going, Pat. If you have a way to do it, to get there past the Andromeda, then uh, you, you have, you've got about 2,000 more galaxies to visit. It's called the Local Cluster. And it's just a small, even that local cluster of 2,000 galaxies is just a tiny little, 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 tiny little itsy bitsy speck in the big scheme of things in the visible universe. That's just the observable universe. You know, as far as we could possibly see because it's so big the light from anywhere further hadn't had time to get to us yet. So they call it. The observable universe. Huh. Well. Hmm. And, you know, we don't want to go into, well, well a lot of, you know, and I'm like that. I say, well, where did this all come from? How is it here? Why is it here? Why am I here? What's the meaning, the purpose? And, well, I don't know how I got off into philosophy like this. I don't know where it came from, but and I don't mean to or anything or 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 the you know 
delve into the subject where people, you know, where they're always wondering about how and why and everything. I mean, I'm that way, and a lot of people aren't. A lot of people don't even think about it or care. But uh, I used to be and still am very, 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 very fascinated and just perplexed and just awed with wonder and can almost see it, but of how and why and the meaning of it all. And then I just, it's like it, it, it goes away. But uh, I don't think there needs to be a meaning. I and mean, there doesn't need to be a meaning because the word meaning or the word purpose or that concept is meaningless compared to the magnitude of what is holding all this together all of it all of it all of it from here to there and beyond the places that you were not before your first thought before the first time you saw a beam of light and that goes for all of you even the ones that are blind knows light I promise you that I just have a feeling all living things know light because light is everywhere but it's about to leave us right now see it it's almost down I am it's you know I just I don't know I just don't want to leave this moment because I gotta go and I gotta shut myself off the person I am the true me which has been here for the, about the past five minutes I don't know and it is rare that I even come out of my little shell but um it feels good too I mean I'll probably sleep finally tonight you know you know, because I've been putting that drone together, and it's just I couldn't just leave it alone until I got it fixed. I've done, it took, you know, I had two flight controls, brand new. I fried one, but um, I'm putting it together, and I don't even know why. I mean, I was real careful with that soldering and stuff. And uh, I just get obsessed with the project or something, and I just can't stop until I'm done, and I got that thing running and working. And, uh, but it just seems like this sunset represents a completion a success of something that uh, I needed and wanted to do so there's not going to be any more work tonight there's not going to be nothing occupying me no no web work no nothing no soldering no yelling no frustration nothing because I got to experience this this amazing just feet of the cosmos the universe just speaking to me you right now you know and i tell you with without y'all right now here with me even though you're in the future which is really the present and it's going to be the past and all that is one you're with me now i'm with you you know what i mean and uh it just it wouldn't work it doesn't work alone it just doesn't it can't be alone that's why that's why we're here because even nothingness even aloneness even the quantum physics of tiny particles of all things do not want to be alone no matter who you are i don't care if you're a demon devil what you th they don't want to be alone. Nobody, nothing does. Not, no thing does. So, I think that could be one of the reasons. But, yeah. Without y'all, and, and, and it's, you know, this little device that's connecting us. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same. It's, it'd, be, it'd still be beautiful. It'd still look, no, but I wouldn't be feeling this elated and happy and and, and, and and many other things. I mean, I got so many emotions coming back to, into me the past week from that, from being on that stuff for a whole year that I had forgotten who I really was. I, for, I had completely forgotten. I, I didn't, I, for, I didn't know who I was. I was just always mad with no, no feelings, you know, just like a, a an angry dog.